uh, today we're having a little bit of a problem with the pigs. Uh, we've noticed over uh, the last couple of weeks they started getting some irritation and swollen swellings around the eyes. Uh, and been able to figure out what the issue is. We've spoken to several vets in the area, unfortunately none of which treat pigs, uh, so they've tried to be helpful but haven't really been able to give me a, um, an answer as to what's going on. Um, so what we're going to try to do today is uh, get a sample of their skin. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our scalpel blade and we're going to, this is mineral oil, and we're going to just dip the blade in some mineral oil so whatever we scrape sticks to the blade. What we're going to do is take this and we're going to find an area where there's hair loss. We are going to abrade the skin until it bleeds a little bit to try to see if we can collect any mites. The first step to us trying to examine the pigs or to try to get the sample is to distract them. And nothing distracts pigs better than food. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to try and get this sample, and of course the one I need to get the sample from is Dennis here, and he's not the most cooperative. Come here, Denny. Come on, buddy. Go over to the girl. Okay, we're going to put a drop of mineral oil on the slide and we're going to take the scraping that we got from the pig and we're going to just tap it in there. Okay. And that will transfer the skin scrapings to the slide. one more sample to add to that uh, to hopefully see if we can find anything. Okay, we've got our second sample on there. So now let's go inside and see if we can find anything. Okay, so we have the kids microscope. So we're going to take a look at the sample and see if we find anything. Okay, so I didn't see anything on the sample. I'm not sure if I got deep enough. Um, their skin is a little bit 
tougher than doing a skin scrape on a dog, which I do often. So, um, we're going to go ahead and give them medication for the skin mites, just in case, and hopefully it works. And I'll try to get a, a closer look at, um, a closer view, or I'll try to put some pictures up to show what their eyes look like. Um, and what made me think that they might have the mites is the fact that <coughs> two of them are starting to show some small areas of bald patches. So I'm thinking that's what might be the problem. If it's not the problem, um, this medication will also deworm them should they have worms. Um, so that's the plan. The eyes. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put the medication on this piece of bagel and let it soak in. going to feed it to them. And each one gets a different just different dosage. So I'm going to have to be careful and make sure the right one gets it. I'm going to use these barbecue tongs um, because some the pigs don't have the best eyesight and I don't want to take a chance on them grabbing it from my hand and um, getting my hand instead of the food. So let's give it a try. Hang on. Hang on. Good girl. Dennis, you ding dong, it's food. Okay, well, that was actually easier than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so we'll repeat that medication in two weeks, and I'll be watching them closely to see if any of the their skin looks like it's getting any better. Um, hopefully we can figure out what's going on with them. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye!